Hello. Did you know there's a really easy way to grow potatoes without digging trenches and without earthing them up? I'm Liz Zorab and this is By The Farm. This morning I'm planting two lots of seed potatoes. I've got a variety called Rocket and another variety uh, called Pentland Javelin. Now Pentland Javelin I grow every year and Rocket is a new one for me but lots of people have told me how lovely it is. What you'll need to plant your potatoes using this method um, is <laughs> a pair of gloves. They're not essential but I choose to wear them. Uh, you'll need your seed potatoes um, something to mark out a straight line if you want to use a straight line and then some hay or some grass clippings. So I'm starting by marking out um, the line where I want the potatoes to grow. So once I've uh, marked a line of approximately where I want them to grow it really is as simple as uh, placing potatoes onto the ground. Now you can put newspaper down first, cut small holes in it and uh, put the potatoes through that you don't need to. I've got plenty of space here so I'm actually planting my potatoes quite far apart. Uh, a foot apart will work so 30 centimetres and um, you can choose to chit your potatoes or not. Now chitting is the process of standing the potatoes um, in a cool light place and allowing them to develop uh, small shoots. They should be small and dark and healthy. If you get very long spindly white shoots simply isn't enough light for them so you need to increase their light. Uh, you can see this section here is where I've previously mucked out the duck house and popped the muckings out here. That's absolutely fine just pushing the potatoes through that so they're sitting on the ground and the important thing uh, with this method is that your potatoes are actually uh, on soil or on compost. So you can choose to put a row of compost onto the ground uh, and I've done that before just put down a small thin row of shop bought compost um, and bedded the potatoes into that. That's worked very well but also uh, it's worked equally well just leaving them uh, sitting on the ground. The potatoes will put down roots, go into the soil and grow away nicely. To turn this into a little bit of an experiment, I'm going to do uh, one half of each type of seed potato uh, covered in only hay uh, and the other half covered only in used animal bedding. Uh, and then obviously for the other variety, I'll do one half hay and one half animal bedding. And we'll see at the end of the year when we harvest them, if that's actually made any difference at all, or whether the harvest actually is only impacted by the quality of the soil that the potato roots are going into. And then as we get grass clippings, I'll add those on top. And the point of adding hay or grass clippings on top is to exclude the light from the tubers as the new ones are developing. And it will do a couple more things. Uh, if your potatoes are a variety that's a, an indeterminate variety, so it grows up and the tubers will grow all off the stems, then uh, the more contact the stem has with a, a medium it can grow in, the more tubers you're likely to get. It can prevent wind rock, protect from frost, conserve moisture. Actually, mulching around your potatoes is just an all round really good idea. So I'm just going to get the rest of my seed potatoes down and then I'm going to cover them. In 2020, I grew my potatoes under a mixture of grass clippings and used poultry bedding. And that worked really well. Got a very, very good yield from that. I'll try not to stand on too many things. Oh. oh yeah. Look at that. I won't throw them in. <laughs> I've lifted uh, one plant yeah. and I can see about 15 potatoes about the size of an egg. Oh right. And they're so egg. about the size of an egg. Yeah, about this sort of size. What? Oh. 
Oh, look at that. Oh. Now this, yeah, this is amazing, Liz. Oh, wow. So this cane uh, marks the divide between the two varieties. And let's go to about halfway <laughs> here somewhere. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is halfway here. And I'll pop a cane in to guide me uh, where those need to go. You don't need to do this when you're growing potatoes under hay or under grass clippings. This is purely for a bit of fun. So I can remove my guide rope now because the potatoes are all sewn. So I'm putting on a layer that's about, well, as I'm putting it on, it's about four to six inches thick, but uh, there's a lot of air in it. I'm shaking it so that it's not uh, in very tight clumps and this will flatten down quite quickly. And then I'll come and cover it uh, again with another layer. The next half uh, is much more uh, hard work. I've actually got to go and clean out uh, the duck shelter and to, to get the animal bedding. Just a quick reminder that if you have chickens, um, you can use chicken bedding, um, but you will need to leave it to mature uh, for about 12 to 18 months. Chicken manure is very hot and can scorch the plants uh, that you're growing in it uh, unless you leave it to uh, settle, mature and start composting down and then it's absolutely great material for growing in. If you've got rabbits or hamsters you can use their bedding immediately and likewise uh, if you have ducks you can use that straight away as well. The animal bedding uh, comprises mostly hay, um, but it's also got um, duck poop on it. And it's been in uh, that field shelter since the autumn. This is a little harder to <laughs> fluff up as I'm going along because um, it's got duck poop uh, holding it together. Well, that didn't take too long. Uh, so you know, what I've got now is the two varieties, Rocket uh, and Pentland Javelin. And half of each of those is covered in hay and the other half is covered in used duck bedding, and uh, which is also mostly hay. So we'll come back when I start harvesting these potatoes and I can show you just how well uh, this method works for growing your potatoes without compost. I've also done experiments uh, looking at some of the best mulches uh, for using on your potatoes. Back in April uh, I started my no dig potato trial and what I wanted to see is whether the mulch or the covering over the uh, seed potatoes would make a difference uh, to the yield uh, of the potatoes. Now obviously this is not a highly scientific experiment. This was done in my garden uh, as a home trial. So I planted a row uh, of all the same variety. Uh, I split them into four sections with three potatoes in each section. And each section uh, I covered with a different coverings. And the link on screen here will take you straight through to that video.